It's really important that we understand the true nature of our mind. You know, we're at a critical juncture in human he history where we really need to understand what is the nature of our mind. Is the nature of our mind only the content of the mind? Is the nature of our mind a separately, independently generated thing? That's what most of us have been trained to believe our entire life. That our thoughts, that our emotions, that our sensations make up who we are. We haven't been introduced, most of us, in our lifetime, up until whenever, that what is fueling all of these thoughts, what is fueling the emotions, what is fueling the sensations, what is at the basis of all this experience? In balance view, we call that open intelligence a vast, natural, inexhaustible intelligence. To be do introduced to open intelligence, there are many ways. Right now, just try stop thinking for a moment. This is just a little introduction. Stop thinking for a moment. What remains? The power to know, clarity, cognizance, That is what remains. It's wide open. You don't need to make this intelligence come about. Now prioritize this intelligence now that we've introduced, been introduced to it. In short moments, repeat this, just recognizing open intelligence again and again and again. Emphasize open intelligence rather than emphasize all the thoughts. Right now, all of you come here with many, many thoughts. You're angry, you're upset, or you're happy, you're glad to be here, you've just arrived, other people are whatever. Rather than emphasize all of that content, just for a short moment, emphasize this wide open presence. When you do this again and again and again, it starts to become obvious that Regardless of the kinds of thoughts you're having, open intelligence is still there, it's always on. The same with the sensations that arise and the emotions. We call all of these data to make it very simple. We don't need to break it into any categories. You don't need to subdivide it. You don't need to think about realms or levels or anything like that. That, that just complicates everything. I mean, that's what we have been doing, really complicating the nature of the mind. Thinking that to understand the nature of reality, it must be some kind of blissful state. Trying to get into a blissful state through whatever kind of activity we're up to. But that requires a lot of effort. It requires a lot of rules and regulations. When you let everything be as it is, that is tapping into open intelligence. You can do this anytime you remember. The more you do it, maybe when it's easier, just try letting everything be as it is and emphasize open intelligence so that you get more and more familiar with op what open intelligence is. The more you do this when it's easier, the more you can do it in challenging circumstances. So it's important to know that data and open intelligence are inseparable. Data are not some separate thing from the space of open intelligence. We've been treating them as they are. When you treat them as you are, then there's no openness. There's anger and there's reactivity and there's war and there's, you know, the list. Who we are as human beings is so powerful. At the core, we all want this, this unity and this harmony. And acting out these kind of things is not going to bring it about. So, you know, it may not feel comfortable when all this stuff arises, but you have the opportunity. Do you want to continue on like everyone else, gossiping, criticizing, blaming, or simply let all of that charge be as it is? It may not come out in a nice, fluffy kind of way. You know, that's not what we're about here. But if you come here for more than one time, maybe two times, three times, and then 
most of you have been here for entire seasons for many years, you start to see the difference on the level that we relate to each other. There's a, you know, we see an individual as open intelligence potency, regardless of the data that are being played out. You know, we can no longer see another person as a flawed human being. We see that just the reason they're acting out on data streams is because there's lack of education into the nature of what these data are. So, you know, we take this responsibility, short moment by short moment, let everything you're experiencing be as it is. It doesn't mean you're not going to come up with solutions. It doesn't, gonna mean, it doesn't mean you're going to be a... Um, a doormat where everyone can walk over you. It doesn't mean you're going to ignore the problems of the world. That is far, far, far from what we're doing here. So please don't think that it's some kind of zombie-like cult where you just come here and you zone out and you don't do anything. That is never what we're about. And if you come here more than once, you see that that's just not what is going on. This center we have here in Goa is just one of many around the world. People are ready for a change, and we are making the change. We're not waiting for someone else. We're not waiting for one person or a few people or a, some kind of activist group. We have the power within us to stand up and take charge for a beneficial, harmonious, prosperous life. And that includes wrath. You know, wrath is you know, not standing for all this bullshit, but it's not blaming the other people. It's not coming from this space of hatred. There might, you might have the thoughts of hatred, you might have the sensations of anger boiling in your blood, but that's, you know, that's not the whole picture. Don't emphasize all those data streams. Remain wide open like the sky. Your mind is clear like a cloudless sky regardless of the content of your mind. You know, the metaphors of nature are very powerful. When you just take, you know what a tornado is? Or a cyclone? It's so powerful. It's this big swirling windstorm. It just comes in, it rips through everything. It rips through the sky. But is the sky ever affected by that tornado or that cyclone? You know, the cyclone releases itself. The sky was never affected. This is the same with our minds. Never affected. Our true body is open intelligence. This body is the, a data stream inseparable from open intelligence. Our thoughts, our emotions are inseparable from open intelligence. Like the color blue in the sky are inseparable. It takes training up, though. It takes the instinctive recognition of this. It's not an analytical understanding of this. I mean, there's... I would just... My advice would be, don't try to get it analytically. It, it, you just can't really get to that point. It doesn't go deep. You don't really have the confidence when it's only a mental understanding. You have to experience it. In Balanced View, we provide all the support required for those who are interested, for those who really want to be, participate openly and take this on in an open-hearted way, you, maybe you're not even open-hearted in the beginning, that doesn't matter. If you're really wanting to test it out, we have the four mainstays, four legs of a chair that will support you through everything. When the going gets tough, you have a trainer you can rely on. Here in the open meetings, there are many trainers available if you have a question that you don't want to ask in the open meeting. Upon further participation, you'll be, you'll have a trainer, a personal trainer, that you can share with and be empowered with. We have all of the trainings, all of our trainings freely available online for everyone. Free audio, thousands, millions of hours of free audio downloads that only talk about our human empowerment. They don't talk about Someday you may get there. If you do this, that, and the other thing, you may understand the nature of reality. All of the talks that we provide in the videos, complete confirmation of natural perfection. You as natural perfection. All of the nasty data that you have are naturally perfect at the basis. 
you let them be as they are rather than calling them nasty and then they start to loosen up. They really start to loosen up. But by listening to the audio it starts to just kind of seep in and you're like, that makes sense. Some of this is becoming more and my, more my direct experience. And then all of the written trainings and the written text and the free books that are online. You know, really give it a chance. Test it out to see, you know, is this becoming more my direct experience? You know, we're not some flawed creatures that have to wait millions of lifetimes to really figure it all out. To see that we're exalted human species, that we're beautiful, that we're powerful regardless of what we had done in the past, regardless of what we think now, we all have this tremendous capability. When you see it in yourself, you know it's possible for another. The people out there that are engaging in harmful activities, you know that if they have education in the nature of their mind, proper education, they will no longer behave and act in that kind of way. But they need to see real life examples from all of us. And that's the fourth mainstay of the community. As a global community, we demonstrate complete mental and emotional stability. We demonstrate harmonious relating regardless of the thoughts we have about another person. And when we come together here at the center, if we all acted on our thoughts, this place would be a mess. It's not like we come here and we don't have weird thoughts, they're only pleasant thoughts, you know, and that's not it. We let them be as they are and we see there's a natural open-heartedness, there's a natural care, natural ethics, natural moral inclination, spontaneous benefit, spontaneous altruism. We don't need to cultivate this compassion, it's already inherent. When you let your raging hatred be as it is, you let it just be as it is, you don't avoid it, you don't replace it, you don't indulge it. You start to see that there is a natural compassion at the basis. So the f go back to the first mainstay of short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until open intelligence is continuous. <coughs> it's the only practice you need. You can be in a cave, you can be in a busy city, you can be on the beach, you can be enjoying sex, you could be enjoying food, you can be in the midst of a big fight, you can rely on short moments of letting all of the data you experience be as it is. Then you'll start to know what to do, what to say. If you go out now and you don't know what to do and what to say, that is also fine. This takes some practice. Practice up, you know, take every opportunity now just to train up in these short moments. And keep coming back and you'll, you'll see the encouragement from other people. You'll be empowered. Then you see everything is a spontaneous display anyway. We, we, we can't make any of this happen. You can't, you know, you didn't do something as an independent body to make yourself come into this world. You don't make yourself have the kind of thoughts that you have. They just pop in. You know, everything is a spontaneous display of the here and now. This here and now is self-releasing. It's arising and releasing <coughs> instantly. The thoughts you have now, they might hang around for a while, but then they just, they're replaced with something totally different. Just allow that flow, like you would allow this breeze in the air to be just as it is. Just let everything flow on by. Rely on the four mainstays and your life becomes more and more empowered. <coughs> 